grace, power, ministry, and love. Incline your ears to wisdom and your hearts to understanding. Receive the word of God according to knowledge. Welcome to preach. To preach. To preach. Be a voice, not an echo. Join Minister Chantrell for today's message. Hello, and thank you for joining me. I am Minister Davis of Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. Today, I'm just going to be sharing a few dreams as I have been led. I have had pages and pages of dreams over the years. A lot have come to pass, and I know a lot of symbolism and futuristic according unto the Lord. These three dreams here are about Obama. After this third one I had this just this past night, I was led to share these dreams, as I will continue to do, but it will be via a webcam once I actually get a webcam up and going. Um, I will give my ministry the way I've been giving it, but the dreams I will do via webcam. I'm going to read this first dream verbatim because it's a little detailed, and so when it's this detailed, I don't want to leave anything out because everything could mean something, and that's why we share these dreams because we are of one heart and one mind, and he's showing his children something. I don't believe I've had these dreams for nothing. Um, and that's that. The Lord has shown me these things. The date of this first dream is dated 12-12 of 2014. I put a little note, um, Obama, wicked one, dragon eyes. In this dream, it was President Obama. He was going into black neighborhoods. I don't know why this was important, but this was what it was going. He was going into black neighborhoods. He was appearing to do good things. There was a lot of people in the homes in these neighborhoods that was getting ready to watch a big show of some kind. They were excited, and they were serving chicken. I very clearly remember it was fried chicken. While all this was going on, there was a young, there was a girl, a young girl, who was being wooed. In my spirit, I knew she was being wooed by Obama. She was being enticed by Obama. She was hanging on to his every word. Hmm. Something just in my spirit on that. I'll tell you after I'm finished. I could feel in my spirit she was being seduced. She wanted to be everywhere he was. Suddenly, Obama and the young girl were sitting in a black car. It was. It looked like to be. It looked to be a Secret Service car. And she offered to get him some of what everyone was eating. He said, "No, thank you." The young girl said she would be right back. As she got out of the car, he yelled and said, while he was laughing, maybe I will have a bit of that. And she said, okay. I mean, I done lost my place. And she said, okay. As she walked into the house, I, I was looking on in the spirit, as always. I'm always able to look on panoramic, and I can be down low. The spirit, he tends to move me all over the place in the spirit. So I'll continue. As she walked into the house, Looking on in the spirit, I could see her going in. But at the same time, there was a helicopter that appeared over the trees, not too far away. It had a line hanging from it with a large box at the end. And the, and, and the line and the box was glowing. It was a glowing fluorescent red. It landed somewhere in the midst of the trees. I watched it as it went down. The young girl came back out, and she was walking down the driveway. That was a slight, it was a slight hill. You know how a driveway can have a hill. When she got halfway, she noticed that the car with the president, the president was in, was gone. She stood there a moment and then turned around to walk back up, looking puzzled. As she did, the president seemed to appear out of nowhere, walking through the yard. There was this big tree, this big tree. He walked around from behind the tree. He came up the driveway. He met her on the porch. And at this point, his demeanor completely changed. It was hostile. It was intimidating. He began to remind her of all he had done and was insisting that she do what he said. His face, his face was very sinister. It was evil. The evil in his eyes was undeniable. His eyes then changed into what looked like large oval-shaped alien-like eyes. But in the inside, they had wings. And I call them dragon wings now because after that, I was just looking for some other ministry mark art days later and I saw these same wings that were in his eyes and they said dragon wings and the Lord spoke to me then the, the, the dragon he then said to the girl and I still don't know what he said his tongue hissed he said Miz and he was saying I sons he was saying it over and over again and he said Miz and the young girl felt terror at this point I could feel it at that point the young lady said what 
He turned to her. He turned her around. He wrapped his arm around her throat like you know how somebody's going to do a, a sleeper hold on you from the back. He was really close to her ear, like a whisper right in her ear. And he said it again. He said, Ms. Uh, it was a Ms. or Mrs. And he said, I sons or icons, like an icon. And, but when he said it, it says, it, it hissed out. There was a hiss as he ended each word twice. At that point, I opened my eyes. And I prayed about that. And not soon after, as you can see, the Lord gave me another dream. I'm going to go directly into, because I was going to tell you what the Lord put in my heart on that first one, that that girl might have been, you know, the church. There's some people that's listening. But let me let me go into another dream. The, the, the next dream, the second dream, was on January 8th. Of 2015 as you can see not too not too long after and I called this one the synagogue and the scepter because this is what I saw that's what the Lord showed me what I remember is there was a great change in tribulation there was a line of people one being led one way and the other being led the other way some great doors of a cathedral opened up before them and they could choose in my heart I knew they could choose when door, one door was open, it looked like a great cathedral in Europe. I mean, it was like you see on TV when you see them, the Pope and all them big old churches. It looked just like that. And to the left, as soon as you would get ready to go through the door, to the left immediately was Obama. He had on a tire kind of like the Pope has, but it was gold, the big tall hat they were, and it was gold all over it. I mean, jewels and gold, and he had a scepter in his hand. And as you go in, you can see him immediately to the left with his back against the wall. You know how you can have two doors and there's like this partition in between them. And he would extend this scepter out for people to go forward. And those that declined were led another way. In my heart, I knew they were, they were dying. It did not show people being dead. It didn't show that they were killed. But... They were, they, I know they were, because in my spirit, I know they were. It then showed those who declined the new world order. Um, it showed those who declined the new world order were Christians. It showed them in the spiritual realm, proceeding into heavenly places, being prepared. And it was a line. And in the spirit, I saw this line, and I was in the line as well. I could see as I went past, because then I, I had a panoramic view. Like I said, I could see everything, and I'm a part of it. I could see it. It's always like that. And I saw my bishop. I saw the bishop of my, the church I go to here, there. And we smiled at one another as I passed. And I said something to him in another language that I don't speak here. It's one of my spiritual languages. But somehow I knew it was a greeting. I greeted him. And we smiled at each other as we were going into this heavenly realm. It was a heavenly place. You could hear this vast, beautiful place we were going into. And at that point, I awoke. You know, I realized that there was a lot going on in that dream because I could feel that lives, lives were lost. But the other people went down into the synagogue as he pointed the scepter that way. And the ones who did not went the other way. And I knew it was because they declined uh, the new way of living, which is the new world order. Now I'm going to come to the last dream I had just recently this night on the 31st, dated July 31st, 2015. And I titled this Africa, Dragon Eyes, and You Know Who I Am. Because that's what was said. And this dream was short, yet it was very intense. I was in this building, and I moved through it pretty quickly. Because I told you, in always, brother, he's showing me tornadoes, storms, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm able to, sometimes he puts me in, I can experience the people drowning, I can experience them in wind, and I'm looking on at the same time. But this is how he's always dealt with me. I'm able to experience what some people are, are going through. Although I know I'm safe, this is just the way the Lord deals with me, and the visions that he gives me. And so it's happened so much, I don't really get rattled on that note. It ain't never fun. It, sometimes it ain't fun. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there like that. But in this dream, I was going through the building. And then all of a sudden, it, I very clearly, it was a closet. It was a closet. It was a closet that you hang clothes in. And there was these people from Africa in there. You know, um, I'd say maybe 20, 30, 40 people. Looked like I don't even know how many people got in there, how many people could fit in that closet. But that's what it was. And it was a closet. 
And I was on the other side, like all the way in the closet against the wall. And these people from Africa was doing this dance and they were singing. You know how they do the little quick rhythm, you know, dancing, the quick little steps you see them doing. And they were all singing and rejoicing. And, and Obama was at the door, like he was coming in the closet, standing there right at the doorway of the closet. And everybody was doing this dance and he joined in. He was smiling and, you know, they were like happy because he was dancing with them and he was dancing with them and they were doing these little moves and rotating and you know how they do their little quick steps with their feet and gyrating their hips sometimes you know we've we've some of us have seen african dancers they they really pumped up and i was on the other side but each time someone each time they changed a move they rotated they were moving almost like i ain't gonna say going through a soul train line but they moved and until eventually they kept changing dances and they moved and i was right next to obama and i wasn't comfortable with this in my spirit i felt uncomfortable and then they began to do another dance that was quick stepping upbeat and pivoting of their hips. And when they did that, he pressed his body up against mine on the side. And I felt very uncomfortable. At this moment, he came around in front of me really, really fast. And he pulled my body close to his. And I was tensed up. The moment I looked up into his eyes, you know, he looked he looked like the president all the way up until that point. The moment my eyes met his, he looked and his voice said, you know who I am. And it was like this withdrawal back. And his face changed, even his attire changed. His eyes went right back to them dragon eyes I saw in the very first dream. And he went to grab me by my arm and said, come with me. And he walked, he was partially, he was almost through the wall. Because you know, you understand, this is a spiritual realm. Just like Jesus in his natural body, that's a spirit. He could walk. And that's how our heavenly bodies are going to be. We're going to be flesh, but we can move through stuff. He walked, he was getting ready to walk through the wall. And he was pulling me by my arm aggressively. And I said, no. And that's when I woke up. I mean, it was no doubt. The moment my eyes met his, he could see my spirit. I know this in my heart because that's what I felt. He didn't ask me if I knew who he was. He said, you know who I am. And anger came. His face changed. Even his attire changed. And that's where I woke up. And I prayed about that. And that is why I'm sharing these dreams. Um, <laughs> all I need to tell you is we need to quit looking at the earth suit. We know that there will be an antichrist. There is antichrist spirits all over. But the antichrist, this is the person that the devil will enter. He is showing us in my heart. I have not had these dreams for nothing. I, I, I haven't been paying attention to stuff going on and, and building some bias against this man. But the Lord has shown me this stuff when I didn't ask him to. And we need to quit focusing on what the out. And the exterior look like the skin color. We know that there's an antichrist. And whoever that he's going to make be that antichrist, we need to yield to it. And we need to be aware. And we need to stay prayerful. And, and children of God, don't spend a lot of time focusing on this. Listen to the words of the God. Listen to his prophets and the people he's given dreams. And pray about it. Take it before the Lord. And then keep your eye on your ministry. Keep your eye on Jesus. And keep reaching people as much as you can. We have got to work while it is day because soon the night comes and no man will be able to work. So you keep working. You take these messages and these dreams before the Lord. You pray because we have to prepare people. But then you keep your work going. Don't get frozen by this. We share these for a reason because he's showing more of us in two or three mouths. It's, you know, things are affirmed and confirmed because he's showing not just me. I'm not the only one that has seen this. Whether he's showing me in a different way, I'm not the only one he's showing. And so I want you to take this before the Lord. I mean, to put it just, you know, people who don't want to believe because of who he is or his skin color, please get over it. I'm going to say it in, <laughs> in the terms they did in the color purple. Sure, Gabriel, God is trying to tell you something. Are you going to listen? Are you going to let your own opinions bias you? You have to prepare. And, and what entered my heart... Cause I asked the Lord, what's about that? You know, you know, why, you know, he pressing his body all up on me. I could feel everything. Seduction. That entered my spirit. Seducing. He is seducing. So you better pay attention. Again, take this before the Lord. Thank you for listening. I will be posting this today to God be the glory. And I thank you for the blood that has covered me all in all that I am hid in the secret place of the most high and I abide under the shadow of the almighty. He is my refuge, my fortress, and my strength. And if you are his child, he is all that to you too. And then some. God bless you and the grace of God overtake you and be with you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach. Be a voice, not an echo. 
We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.